Hello everybody, Good Fishman here, and you're watching this video because you probably downloaded Open Fortress Zombies and you're like, hey, I want to make some maps for this really cool game mode. Um, yeah, so pretty much what you need to download first is the o Open Fortress Zombies example add-on, which literally just comes with a bare bone map and items game level sounds. So if you want to create custom weapons or custom sounds, like level transition, like uh, round changing sounds, you would edit the level sounds, or if you want to make like a new pistol or something to put on the wall, you use the items game. I literally just snagged these from uh, the buy example map, but I just put them in here. And it also comes with a template. Very cool. It's the default template that already comes with Open Fortress Zombies. If we take a look here, if you go into the map source, you know, here's everything that you need to start mapping. You got the help map, the template map, and the prefab map. So, let's get into the template map. Uh, there's Fod Ford in the background. My little baby. Beautiful baby. So we travel to the custom folder. Oh yeah, make sure you put everything in the custom folder. I can't stress that enough. Do not merge anything into Open Fortress. Make sure everything's in the custom folder. The example add-on and the Fortress Zombies dev. Example add-on is basically like, that's yours. You can rename it to whatever you want. But let's check out the example map that I gave you guys. So you open up the VMF with your hammer. I'm using Hammer++ because it makes life easier. And this is the example map. Uh, these are the wall weapons. All of them are in this map. Uh, the perks are in here too. And also there's doors. If you view the... If you view the help maps, they actually define everything. Pretty much. So it'll tell you what, what the wall weapons, how to use them. Down here is how the waves are set up. Work in progress because uh, text is a pain in the ass. <laughs> and these are the zones. And basically what happens, because how Open Fortress works on bots and a bunch of black magic I had to get working. What happens is it initially uses these bot spawners to spawn in a zombie here. And he travels down to a conveyor belt to these zones. These zones spawn the zombies into the map. Um, and this zone over here is the door, the first door. Once you open up the first door, this will disappear. And this will become available. So, yeah. It's pretty complicated, but once you take a look at the logic, it gets simpler. Like, let's look at the door. This is the cost the funny cost, you know. See, door buy one. This is how much money you have to have to proceed. Don't forget to edit the text so it actually shows up. I, I, it's a lot to take in, but but fancy stuff is the outputs. That's basically all the code coding, even though it's not coding. But anyways, what it basically does, it disables, it kills zone one, so it's no longer there, and it opens up opens up sort uh, zone two so these will become available see how it says to teleport see the problem with that is the more doors you make the more spawns you have to put in so that's why there's two engineers here so like yeah because the first engineer becomes unavailable but like the second one comes it's it's very complicated you guys get a hang of it um, I tried to make it not complicated, but Open Fortress is a, a butthole about things. <laughs> yeah, but all the wall weapons are here. I would recommend checking out the help map. It, like I said, it tells what everything is. Uh, perk machines, they all work. Well, what else could we look at? This is pretty much it. Just play with it. All you gotta do... And if you go to the super fancy, super duper, fancy wancy, um, oh yeah, another thing, make sure you don't save your templates. Never want to re override your templates. 
That's a bad boy. So if we go down to Open Fortress Zombies, yeah, we go to the map source, we go to the gameplay prefab. This is everything. Pretty much everything. Uh, and it has help signs. I'm supposed to start over here. But, uh, let's... Let whoa. 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 Okay. Okay. Did not like that. It's supposed to start right here and you're supposed to read in a direction. But you just double click and you read the comments. Welcome to the prefab. This is the bare bones version of the game mode with only the essentials to start it up. You basically read it. Tells you everything. Yeah, so... There's the zombie spawn and barrier, there's the player spawn, this is the trigger the player has to stay in or he'll lose the game. That's all the logic, don't mess with that, or I'll find out. Health pickups, wall weapons for easy dragon, so like, you can just select it, hit enter. Look, now you have it, and you can just copy and paste it. Control C, Control V into your new map. Uh, same with perks, power. Sometimes you have to edit the power switch because it likes to go in rat wacky directions. <laughs> uh, same over here. Uh, just updated it and it was a pain in my ass. Um, this is actually the newest version, which I didn't mean to overwrite the old version, but I did it anyways. And basically, uh, as you can see, there's one zone because there's new do no doors. But uh, this one comes with dogs and a boss. Pretty cool. That's the boss. Look at him. You can look at him. Look at that. Level 8 boss. Pretty wacky. Um, the timers. You can edit the timers if you want. If you want to make rounds shorter or longer. You know. Take a look at that. These are the sounds. If you want to replace sounds and put your own custom sounds. You just, you know. You copy and paste your sound in there. You know, you know, work. You got the end round, game over. You got special end round, which is for the skeletons. Skeletons are dogs, if you guys don't know. They're very terrifying. Um, I that's pretty much it for that. Um, make sure you don't save it. If you save it, you're you, you you're grounded. Let's say you want to make a custom level. What you do, go to your funny hammer plus plus. If you don't know how to use hammer, there's other tutorials out there. I'm not going to be getting into it. But uh, let's say you want to make a... One, let's say one door. One door with one, two zones. Okay. So, hit new. Of course. If this crashes, I'm going to cry. So let's work with dev textures. This might be the longer part of the video, I don't know. But anyways, top. Let's go, let's go on a very big grid level. To show how professional I am. So let's say... Simple box with sky box. My, my whole spiel on... Uh, my whole spiel on clipping is to, if you can jump on it, pretty much, I would clip it. Because navigation is a butthole to work with, and bots can mess up. Honestly, it's completely your way of making stuff. Um, yeah. Wow, these are some really big uh, boxes. <laughs> but yeah, look, see, we got a simple room. We don't got no light. We don't have a light entity, but all right, let's make a door. So what we're gonna do? We're just gonna do the lazy route. Right? This is why I made the template in the first place to be lazy. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean. So this is our wall. Pretty, pretty crazy, right? Let's say this is our wall. Alright, so in the middle right here, here, let me give it a different texture. Okay, like, let's say we want this to be a door, and maybe, <laughs> this is a really rushed map. And let's say, here, let's make that a zombie spawner, 
Even though I'm not sure if zombies can fit through it. Uh, let me let me check. Always use the team spawn if you wanna. If you want to uh, use a reference on how big shit is. That looks that looks pretty good. We might make it. I'll make it one extra bigger. All right. Let's say that's a zombie spawn. And over here, this is the first room. That's that's the first zombie spawn. Okay. Pretty crazy. So let's paint this purple, so we know. So it doesn't. Nah, let's paint it blue. All right. All right. Let's go to the template. Let, let's save. Save as. Go into your little. Uh, let's see. Um, go into your example add-on. Go into maps. And I would recommend doing DM NZ. Then your map name. So let's call this a test. Pretty crazy. Hit save. Now let's dive into the templates. So let's go into the template. Whoa, cool. Let's 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 snag this door right here. So hold down control, left click, and you can select multiple things. Make sure you select the clipping, the the button, and at least one box. And to check if you have it, you can do Control X to delete the shit. But then hit Control C to copy. And you can close this out. I would recommend closing it out. Make sure you don't save. Close it out. Then you paste. Look, there's the door. You rotate it however you want it to look. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So let's fix it up. Let's fix it so it actually fits the door. You want to be professional, okay? And I would recommend raising this to the ceiling because, you know, don't want players to jump over or something or exploit your map. Make sure the text is centered with the object. Whoa, pretty cool. And if you edit the text, you can edit the door this is what's going to show up on the door. So, let's say we want to make it to 150. It's going to get a little bit complicated. And if it's a bigger door, we can raise the radius. And I think we might want to shrink it. That's the radius right there. That's the radius of the message to show up. So, 150 looks good. So, so it's 150 now. So, go into the filter. This is where the transaction is done. Set to 1,000. 500 whoa go into the outputs and you know minus five fifteen thousand all right as you can see the zones aren't working money giver zombie well it's because we don't have the main prefab out that's why it's not working <laughs> all right make sure the noise is also centered but like a little bit behind so it looks like and what you can do you can actually make multiple multiple of these by shift and dragging once they're selected and you can change it to any object you want pretty cool make sure they're prop dynamic blah 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 um, let's see let's say I don't know let's change it to something else let's say I don't know. Let's change it to mercenary. Maybe, maybe mercenary's blocking the way, and you want him to get the hell out of the way. <laughs> you, you know, you never know. You never know. Um. Anyways, so that's now a thousand five hundred. So let's actually do the right thing. Save and actually grab the <laughs> grab the actual game mode. So go to gameplay prefab. And over to the right, in the viz groups, you can actually disable certain things, so you don't accidentally, uh, you know, so you don't accidentally copy the wrong thing. Which it looks like I messed up here, but I'll fix it. Probably not. I don't know. I don't think anybody will care. So, this is the main prefab right here. So, I just selected it all, copied it. Probably should get rid of the bottom. Get rid of the bottom. Copy that. 
Uh, close. Don't save. And paste it. Whoa. As you can see, it's really big. Um, we're going to have to move things around. So this is the zombie barrier, so I'm going to copy, I'm going to cut that, and put it right here. Make sure your zombie spawns aren't seen, so the player's immersion doesn't break. Never want that to happen. That's a sin. So there's the zombie barrier, just cover it up, bam. And you can just cl click and, you can shift and drag it over there too. So. This is a zombie spawn. Make sure he's hovered off the ground, you know, not touching the wall. All that jazz. This is the trigger for the player to play in. Just drag it over the map. Bam. Done. Don't mess with the logic. Logic stays forever. I believe this is the player spawn. So let's put him right here. He's looking fabulous. Make sure he's off the ground, too. Alright. We got the man. So hit save. Go back to the gameplay. Because we forgot the actual zombie spawners. Because I am the cool guy. So these are the zombie spawners in waves. That's how they are activated. So just... Just copy that too. Oh yeah, uncheck the help signs so we don't copy the help signs. Let's redo that just in case. Close out of that. And paste it. Now, I would recommend this being way far out of the playable area. So people don't hear the zombies spawning in. I usually just put it all the way to the far right and bottom of the map like that so that's finished so zombies should actually spawn in now right well there's a problem where you have to actually copy and paste the the map data file and the map data is actually where all the zombies data is store, stored so what you do you go to the template map data copy it paste it and replace it with your what your level is called so instead of the template map paste in your map name underscore map data and it's as easy as that now zombies will spawn in and you can edit their health blah 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 this, uh, yeah I would keep it consistent so but if you want to make it harder yeah go ahead uh, hit save Let's put let's put a zone in. Zones are fun, right? No, they're not. Let's put them in. Oh yeah, don't forget about the health. <laughs> don't 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 forget about this health. Health is very important for this game mode. But remember, don't overuse health. But I'm gonna overuse health here. Anyways, what are we looking for? <laughs> Oh, Roy. All right, gotta make sure I'm still recording. All right, let's put in a zone. So, the filter says when you go to outputs, it'll open up zone two and kill zone one. I love zones. So, let's go over. This is the first zone. See, it's called zone one. All we have to do is just shift and drag it. Bam copy and name it zone 2 and make sure the remote destination is spawn 2 bam you're probably wondering why is it red because we have to actually put in the spawns too so let's take our little engineer uncle dane friend right here and copy him over here to our second to where you know it's supposed to open up so if we go into the properties he's still called one so change them to two now the problem with the system at the moment is you cannot make branching paths 
which sucks. And I'm not going to explain any more of that because I can't. <laughs> My brain too small. You'll get what I mean once you start making advanced levels. But uh, once you make this guy, don't forget to don't forget to copy him over here. So the zombies still can spawn in the first area. See, I just raise them up so it doesn't get confusing, but once you start making a lot of zones, you're probably going to have to start putting them inside each other. But this is just a show example. See, he's two. So, now, it works! If you open up the door, it'll, it'll spawn them in the next area and the first area. It's pretty cool. So let's put down a wall weapon, save, Never, don't ever forget to save. Okay, so how the wall weapons, the wall weapons are in tiers, of course, uh, these are the starting room tiers. Uh, this is the okay weapon tier, pretty, they're, like, they're, the third tier is probably pretty much close to the second tier, but, uh, yeah, let's grab, like, a starting room weapon. Let's just grab the the shotgun and the SMG, the two classics. Close out of that, don't save, paste it, and make sure your shit is lined up. You don't want wall weapons to be floating off the wall. It's kind of hard to make out, but uh, see we gotta rotate that. We don't wanna put it on the wall. Oh, we got- <laughs> I rotated it the wrong way. There we go. Make sure it's on there. Look, it's on there. Whoa, and they work too. Oh, Roy. Like, imagine, you know, the more you progress, the better weapons you get, of course. But, uh, yeah. Um, what else should we do? Okay, perks and power. Perks and power is pretty easy. So go to the prefab, go to the perks over here, and all you need is the power and the perks. Let's say we just want the power and what else do we want? Let's get the power here, hold on, let me just put it in the map. Let's put it on this wall right here, the wall back here. Bam! And make sure you adjust the collision to raise up so people don't, you know, jump on it. Oh yeah, one more thing. You might want to put clipping uh, to the bottom to all the way to the top because players can stand on this. And if for some reason, if they go under it, zombies will crouch. I don't know. That's... I don't know how that works, but Open Fortress is weird. I'm only going to blame Open Fortress. So we can we can just drag all these into the map, but actually one one will work. You don't need all of them. So yeah, let's put Juggernaut in here. Very good. Like I said, adjust the adjust the clipping so it actually like <laughs> it lines up. But this is a tutorial, so no matter. Let's put another mercenary here. There you go. It's like this is my wall. Alright, all you need to do now is do save and hit run map. Pretty cool. So yeah, run the map. It'll start up the map and remember we don't have lighting. If you want to go learn about lighting, go find a tutorial on YouTube. Go find a cool and wacky tutorial on YouTube because I ain't going to teach it here. Oh, it's gonna be really dark because it's gonna see the perk machine lighting. But whatever, we'll turn it. We'll turn on full bright. All right, we in. As you can see, it's dark. Just type in Matt full bright. There you go. Here's our mercenaries. Pretty cool. There's our door. There's our wall weapons. And let's let's cancel the waiting for players. It's actually not on by default. But, uh, I turned it on, so, uh, map editing and navigation mesh editing, which I will get into the video. So, if we wait here, 
as you can see, our zombies spawned. Whoa, there they are, there they are, scary. But you're probably wondering something. Why are they not coming out? Well, I'd recommend to turn on uh, waiting for players for this. Uh, I don't know if you can, like, restart game. I guess you can. Just reload the map. By the way, if you're, if you're having trouble editing nav while the zombies, you know, you don't want the zombies to spawn, all you gotta do is go into the custom, open fortress zombies dev, um, config, config global, and just put two slash marks to disable it, but make sure you re-enable it. Uh, I just gotta restart the map. But, uh, you basically do MP waiting for players, 999, just like that. So let's reload the map by doing map, then your map name, so test. See, you know, it says waiting for players for a really long time. All we have to do, so the zombies aren't moving, because we have to generate nav mesh. So, go into your console, do nav underscore generate and it should generate automatically if it doesn't you might need to make a nav underscore mark underscore walkable and turn on nav edit but uh yeah usually you don't for team fortress 2 <laughs> so to look at the actual nav you do nav edit one and this is the nav. But there's a problem. It's not connected to the door. And we need to connect it manually. You could make the objects hidden so it just works. Oh yeah, delete that. Because we don't want that. We don't want the zombies trying to uh, go up top. So, what I usually do is do uh, nav underscore snap. Oh, snap to grid 1. So it actually snaps in a grid. And I usually just start in the corner, nav, begin area. Oh yeah, no clip's gonna be your friend here. So the blue one is our new nav. So just give it, make sure it has space, you know. Nav, end, area. And now it's made a new square, and we have to connect them now. So nav, mark, to mark the first square. Then go to your second one, nav, connect. And make sure you do it again to the other one. So it becomes a... Oops. Accidentally a nav mark. Nav connect. So it's a little... Little blue line. If you want a more in-depth guide. Or if you're getting confused. Go look up a... Like a CSGO nav making guide. Uh, yeah. Just make sure that's not blue. Because blue equals one ways. And we don't want that. If there's nav that they cannot get to, I would do nav underscore delete. I would be very careful using that, because so, I lose so many hours doing that. Usually for doorways, I do nav precise. Uh, apparently that makes them take the nav more straighter and in a more direct direction. Um, yeah. So, no! You do nav save, and it might say needs a full nav analyze. You do nav analyze. Then once you get back into your map, you do nav save. Again. All right, we're back in it. See the nav. Do nav save just to be safe. So nav edit zero to stop editing nav. By the way, if zombies are around, your game will or might crash <laughs> while you're editing the nav. That's why we go for the waiting for players thing. All right, let's see if it works. So MP waiting for time, let's set it to one, then hit restart, see, restart. 
bam, and it should restart everything. And you know, everything should be good. Now when zombies spawn in, which is located on the left, they should start coming towards you. There you go. And you can cheat by giving money. <laughs> so if you want to test out stuff really fast, you know, buying weapons, buying crates, there they go! And turning on the power, which it did work because I can buy it now. Now watch, the new zone will work. Ready for the new zone to work. There they are. Now that... Now that's how you make a map. Anyways... I hope you enjoyed <laughs> this little tutorial. It might have been pretty long, but hopefully I can cut it down. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I, help, I hope it helped you guys. But uh... Anyways, enjoy playing the game. I worked very hard on this game mode. I spent many nights getting no sleep, but anyways, uh, thank you everyone for helping me with this project, and thank you for downloading it. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.